Hello people, in this lesson we are going to talk about the classification of bases. By now we know what are bases, they are substances which are bitter to taste and all of the bases have one thing in common that is the hydroxyl ions and water soluble bases are called alkalis. Now depending upon the hydroxyl ions we can divide bases on the basis of the strength of bases and we can classify them on the basis of their acidity. Now what do we mean by acidity of bases? Well, depending upon the acidity of bases, we divide bases into monoacidic, then diacidic and we have something known as triacidic. Okay, this is nothing but how many hydroxyl ions are present in one molecule of a base and how many of the hydroxyls are to be neutralized by an acid. If one hydroxyl ion is to be neutralized that means base is monoacidic. If two hydroxyl ions are to be neutralized that means it is diacidic. If three hydroxyl groups are to be neutralized by acid then the base is called the triacidic base. So it depends upon the number of hydroxyl ions present in one molecule of a base and when we talk about the strength of the acid and when we talk about the strength of the bases according to the strength we classify the bases as strong base and weak bases. Now strong and weak depends upon the concentration of OH minus in a solution. That means how many OH minus ions can bases produce when they are present in a solution. So that is the concentration of OH minus ions according to which we divide the bases into strong and weak. Now first let us talk about the strength of bases. Okay, According to the strength we have strong and weak bases. Let us talk about strong bases. A very common strong base is NaOH that is sodium hydroxide. Why is it strong? Let us see. Now suppose if I take 100 molecules of NaOH, all these 100 molecules will split in water and form Na plus OH minus but they will form 100 Na plus and 100 OH minus because all of them have split. So in the solution right now we have 100 OH minus. Okay, but suppose if we have 100 molecules of NH4OH that is ammonium hydroxide. This is ammonium OH is hydroxide. So if we have 100 molecules of NH4OH not 100 will split only some of them will split about 20 to 30 will split. If 20 to 30 splits that means how many NH4 plus we will have is 20 to 30 and how many OH minus we will have is 20 to 30. So this is the dissociation of NH4OH. Thus in this solution we will get less amount of OH minus. So the concentration of OH minus in the first case is more whereas in the second case is less. Though we are taking 100 molecules of each NaOH also and NH4OH also. So we say that NH, NaOH is a strong acid whereas NH4OH is a weak acid. So always remember a strong acid will dissociate completely and give more number of hydroxyl ions whereas a weak acid will not dissociate completely and give less number of hydroxyl ions. Now let us talk about the acidity of bases. How according to acidity they are classified as monoacidic? diacidic and triacidic. Now suppose if we take an example of a base NaOH, it will form Na plus and OH minus in water. We are just talking about this one molecule. In this molecule only one OH is present. So it will form only one OH minus. It will dissociate and give you only one OH minus. So such type of bases are called monoacidic. 
because for an acid to neutralize this base it has to neutralize only one OH minus so it is monoacidic. Let us talk about magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide when it splits it gives magnesium 2 plus because magnesium has the capacity of giving 2 electrons but OH has the capacity of taking only 1 electron due to which we require 2 OH minus that is why the formula is MgOH2. Now when this one molecule splits it gives 2 OH minus ions. So for an acid to neutralize this base there are going to be 2 OH minus that it has to neutralize from the one molecule of MgOH twice and this is called magnesium hydroxide base. So magnesium hydroxide is a diacidic base okay and now let us talk about aluminium hydroxide. When aluminium hydroxide if it splits it gives aluminium ion which is 3 plus that means aluminium gives 3 electrons but OH can accept only 1 so we require 3 OH minus. Thus we can say that aluminium hydroxide one molecule of it will split into 3 molecules of hydroxyl ions. So this base is called triacidic. So this is how acids are classified based on the concentration of OH minus and the number of OH minus that is yield from one molecule of the base. So according to the strength either we have a strong base or a weak base and according to the acidity we either have a monoacidic base or a diacidic base or a triacidic base.